be sure to subscribe, keep pounding, underscore TV, the best Panther YouTuber ever. I'm rocking with the big cat. Pause up. Keep pounding. What's going on? Christian Miller here, linebacker of the Carolina Panthers. Just want to give a huge shout out to Keep Pounding TV. Keep doing what y'all are doing. Appreciate all y'all support. Everybody go subscribe right now to the YouTube channel, Keep Pounding TV. I'm rolling with the big cat. Hey, 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 everybody. I'm your host, the Grenade Gato, also known as the big cat. My cool cat, put your What's up if you're rocking with the big cat today i'm here to tell you why matthew stafford will be or uh, should be the carolina panthers next quarterback but first before we get started do you love the carolina panthers like i love the carolina panthers yes no maybe do you love the carolina panthers like i love the carolina panthers if you love the carolina panthers i love the cat listen shout out to the carolina panthers on tiktok they said we love you too man. I said, oh god <laughs> That made me feel so good, man. I love my squad. I love my team. I love the 704. Oh, my God. I'm so in love with it. All right, hold on. Enough of that gooey stuff. If you love the cat, like, 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 give me that pause up. Matthew Stafford, while he will, should, maybe be the Carolina Panthers' future quarterback. Let's get into it. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss the video. Shout out to the Fan to Fan Network, FTFN on YouTube. Make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, 32 Fan Ambassador, give it the real from a fan perspective. You can't beat it, y'all. Also, be sure to check out my TikTok. Uh, T H E B I G K A T T, the big cat. We're blowing up fast. At 16K at the moment, almost headed north of 20. So that, I appreciate that. In a little over three weeks, y'all. So thank you for that love and support. Um, and also, shout out to all this other sponsors as well. Now, a lot of you guys. I have to spoon feed you. I love you, man. You know what I mean? If you're a cool cat and you're sitting up underneath me, there's no reason why you should be absolonious or benign to what's coming down the pipeline here. And I want to I want to explain to you why this will be a good move here. If you look up at your screen right here, you'll see if the Carolina Panthers acquire Matthew Stafford, they will inquire a little over $43 million in his next two years. All right. 13 of his $33 million will stay with the Lions on their books. Meaning the next year will be $20 million and the year after will be $23 million. Not bad for a, a, a pretty decent quarterback. All right. Um, I've been getting a lot of feedback from you guys. And, and no matter how many like different scenarios and how many numbers and stats I put up and show you how this guy can deliver. And I, I will be breaking down film here soon. But it seems like some of you guys don't get it. All you want to focus on is his age, 33 years old. Oh, he hasn't been a winner. But if I'm not mistaken, ain't, ain't um Tom Brady in the Super Bowl? Wasn't Aaron Rodgers in the NFC Championship game? Those guys are old as dirt. But nobody complains about that. So, Panther fans, sit back. Let me let me take you somewhere for a little bit, all right? If you look on your screen right here. I believe we have a good shot at getting Matthew Stafford, and here's why. The Detroit Lions draft number seven. We draft number eight. Now, it's going to be hard. It's going to be real hard for the Lions to pass up two top ten collegiate, elite collegiate prospects back to back. All right. So, and, and, and again, the Colts could be a better situation for Matthew Stafford because they got a good line. T.Y. Uh, Hilton, uh, good running back Jonathan Taylor, you know, Quentin Nelson. They got, a, they got some pieces up there, but... The thing is, when you demand a trade or you demand to go separate ways, you're not really in control. It's really what's, what works out for the organization the best. All right. So when it comes to working out for the organization the best, the Panthers can offer their eight pick. I will offer the number eight pick in Teddy Bridgewater. But in exchange, not only do I want to give a Teddy Bridgewater in my number eight pick, I got to have the, the Detroit Lions 41st pick, which is their second round pick. And their fifth round pick. All right. So that means the Panthers will get their second round. They'll get their fifth round. They'll get Stafford for our number eight pick in Teddy Bridgewater. Now, the reason why you give up Teddy Bridgewater here is not only will they be able to pick from back to back uh, uh, seven and eight. Now they got the bridge quarterback. So let's say they want to go out there and get a tight end and a receiver. Or if they want to go out there and get a cornerback and a receiver. Now you got a guy who can come in place and be your bridge quarterback. All right. Good deal. You got two star-studded pieces there, right? Now, a lot of you guys are asking me, what about Bridgewater's big contract hit? I think it's like $20, 23000000 million in dead money. If that happens, well, we still got ways of uh, moving the numbers around. We can do some contract restructuring. 
and also we can get some players off our books that haven't necessarily been there producing that won't uh, uh, uh hurt us as much as teddy bridgewater's number so where there is that will there is a way all right if you look up at your screen again matthew stafford when it comes to red zone targeting last season was ranked fourth was 78.6 percent in the red zone okay so why is that significant big cat look back on your screen right here the carolina panthers last year in the red zone they ranked 28th they converted 29 out of 57 attempts ranking 28th so again that's the immediate improvement i don't care about his age i don't care about nothing like that and i'm gonna tell you why here that's a immediate upgrade all right, on third down, check this out. Matthew Stafford ranked fourth on third down in passing yardage, 1,004 yards. The Carolina Panthers on third down, they ranked 25th on offense. They converted 76 out of 195. God damn it. 70, 76 almost out of 200 fucking snaps, attempts, 39% of the time. That's 25, ranked 25th overall. Again, that's two ways I just show you how he improves this team right here. All right, not not to make the not the not to make a lot of anything, but Matthew Stafford over the last two years, including this past year, has graded out at 80 or above when it comes to his overall grade, including the 13th highest ranked quarterback last year. So let's continue here. Let's let's continue here, man. When it comes to Matthew Stafford's ability to be cool under pressure in the pocket. He ranked 95.7 passer rating, which was second in the lead in 2020, while under pressure. Matthew Cool Stafford. He threw for 8.2 yards per attempt under pressure, which was first in the NFL. 3.7% <laughs> turnover rate under pressure, which was fourth in the NFL. All career highs. I mean, what more do you guys, what, what more do you want? You guys look at the Detroit Lions rake record and you try to put him in a conundrum as if he played defense, as if he played cornerback, if, as if he blocked, as if he was a running back. He never had a star running back in his career. All you guys holler is their record, their record. That record don't mean shit to me. Because unless Matthew Stafford can play 11 different positions on offense and 11 position, uh, positions on defense, then you can't hold him accountable for everything that has went wrong in Detroit. I just gave you guys a host of ways that they can improve this team. And yes, pretty much the, ne the next thing you guys cry about when I, when, when I bring this up is we're not ready to compete. I swear some of you guys make me just, I can't say what I want to say on YouTube because they'll throw me off of here. But you were not ready to compete. But last year, last year in eight games, at the end of eight games in the fourth quarter, we were right there at it. And all we needed was a quarterback to take us over the top. And we were 0 for 8. And you're talking about we're not ready to compete? And here's, here's, the, here's the problem with you guys. And you guys got to really cool out because a lot of you are just using your fandom and not doing your research and logic, which I implore you to do. Don't take my word for shit. Always do your own research. Fact check me. I'm not implorable, man. I'm not, you know, so I can be follow, flat fallible as well. But here's the thing when it comes down to the brass tax of it. Either way, the bus is going to roll on. And a lot of you guys are hollering for Justin Fields. A lot of you guys are hollering for Trey Lance. All you guys are going to do is crucify these guys once they get in here and they can't deliver. That's, yeah, you are. No, yes, you are. Don't lie. You're lying. Yes, you are. You want immediate results. You want immediate results. And it's not fair to put that kind of pressure on a young kid coming into a rebuilding team. And say, look, deliver for us. Or you can have a veteran guy who's very talented and, and can produce in all those different situations. And, you know, you got a better shot at making the playoffs with. Or this is what you can do right here. This is what we need to do, y'all. We need to trade away that A pick, get that second and fifth round from Detroit along with Matthew Stafford. We need to take those picks, get some linemen, fix some of our holes in the secondary uh get, get another edge rusher uh get another offensive line linebacker fix some of those holes and build around matthew stafford for the next two years his contract is very friendly 43 millions over the next year that's a teddy deal 
you're getting a, a, a better player for virtually almost the same price for the next two years. You take your you take your future quarterback or your grooming quarterback, Ellinger, Jamie Newman, um, Kellen Mon, um, even Sam, whoever the fuck you think it is, late in the draft, you grab that guy, you sit his ass on the bench, you let him get in the competition with Will Greer and PJ Walker. And, and, and if he can beat those guys out, then you groom his ass and you groom him while Matthew Stafford's doing his thing. That way, when it's time for him to take over the reins, now he, he has that much more experience, that much more knowledge. You, you, they got to get a, a, a macula, excuse me, acclimated to the game. So a lot of you guys want to throw the fish into the frying pan, not knowing that you're going to bond it. You got to turn this and when the, when the grease is too hot and you drop that fish in there, you can bond it. You don't want to bond it. Take you a fifth round pick. Take you. Who not? Listen, if Matthew Stafford comes in here and takes us to the playoffs the, the first two years, who knows what's going to happen in the college world? There could be another stud that comes out. We could trade up for. We can move pieces around for. Or if you don't want to do that, you could turn around and, and, and draft the guy in the fourth and fifth round this year. Or you could draft him in, 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 in the first round next year. Do what, do what the, the Packers did to Aaron Rodgers. They traded up. Uh, uh, um, the following year, they traded up and got a quarterback to sit on the bench. If there's nobody later in this round that you like, next year, trade up or, or use the number one pick to get the quarterback to sit him on the bench behind Matthew Stafford. But you don't need to rush somebody in there because you're impatient and you want to see something. This team has 11 and 5 written over it, okay? I looked over the schedule and, and I look, and I like what I seen from this defense last year. And I believe Matt Rule and his coaching staff one more year experience, the silly shit that he did with the calling timeouts and him and Teddy not being on the same play, Mitch managed to play calling, all that silly shit, I feel like that's going to be worked out, okay? He gets a pass, okay? He gets a pass, right, and I feel like one more year we're going to work it out, but what you cannot cover up is the fact that we need a quarterback. And yeah, it feels like giving away the number eight pick is, oh man, I want Dak with the number eight pick. We're, we're giving up a future franchise quarterback. Again, you're giving up something that's not proven versus somebody who's very talented and proven, but just been on a really bad team. It's kind of like when you spend that last five dollars on lottery. Ain't no guarantee you're going to hit the fucking Lala. Ain't no guarantee you're going to hit the Lala. But some of you fools are so desperate that you think you're going to hit the Lala and then you crap. Or you could take that $5 and go to Dollar General, go get you three loaves of bread, and you can eat loney sandwiches for the next couple of days until your paycheck clear. Think like that, man. So I'm not saying Matthew Stafford's not the, uh, he, he is the answer, but I'm saying he's definitely a plausible option. I wouldn't be mad at it. As long as we get their second round and their fifth round, along with Matthew Stafford for our eighth round and Teddy, I'm with it. Because we got a hell of a GM who's known for building, a guy who has the eye for talent in, in the late rounds, and I think we're going to be all right. Stop rushing for everything. It's pissing me off. Yeah, it does make perfect sense. How about we get a veteran quarterback and we plug the rest of our holes that we have issues with while he's on our team, so that way when our our, our prince, our savior decides to get uh, is being groomed uh, on the depth chart, now he comes into a, a loaded situation. Could you imagine having your, your rookie quarterback go out there and he got all these fucking holes on his team, he's out there running for his life? <laughs> or how about we groom him on the bench while Matthew Stafford's doing his thing and then when it's time for him to step in, guess what? The problem that we had on the defensive line, now we got depth. The problem we got at cornerback is fixed. The problem we got at the offensive line is fixed because we used the draft. We used free agency. We groomed that guy. We groomed that guy. So now when it's time for him to take over, He's in a damn near perfect situation. Or do you want to rattle his confidence because you're so fucking impatient? I'm your host, Agrande Gato, trying to make some sense of this shit. You know what I mean? Not saying that he's the guy, but I'm saying he's a very, very viable option. Make sure you guys subscribe to the podcast. Everyone's part of the whole nine. We will be live tomorrow night to talk about Matthew Stafford. And uh, what you think about it, man? Pull your head at your ass. Pause up! I'd like to take the time out to thank Keep Pounding TV membership sponsors below. It is because of supporters like you that we're able to create quality content. Please consider joining the Keep Pounding TV membership by clicking the join button right above the channel header. With three different tiers and packages, we have a little something for everybody 
and affordability. Make sure you join. Pause up. Be sure to check out KeepPoundingTVShow.com where we had the latest Panthers article, exclusive behind-the-scenes content, vlogs, videos, schedule, fantasy football, and much more. Also, be sure to check out Keep Pounding TV's official merchandise where we have Pause Up hats, Gato shirts, and much more as well. I want to give a very special shout out and thanks to all the Keep Pounding TV cool cats and members. Pause Up, Keep Pounding. Ladies, be sure to check out Tory Bell Cosmetics. Shop with the ambassador and affiliate Sabrina Francis. Her link is below. For all your cosmetical needs, from eyeliners to lip gloss, the eyelash bling. They got everything you need. Check the link in the description below. Fellas, do you have a beard like Big Cat? You tidy your shit look like Anthony Hamilton? Okay. Patches all in it. Check out Shoshana's Blue Sapphire Oils. Help moisturize and restore health back to your beard. Shoshana Jones Oils Blue Sapphire. The link is in the description below. Be sure to check out On The Live Show Radio. Check out the latest Christian hip hop slash R&B. Be sure to also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hi, I'm the Big Cat. Pause up. You're watching Fan to Fan Network, the voice that fans deserve.